Hello everybody, this is Dan from ESLVietnamZone.com and in today's video we are going to talk about why you should apply for all the teaching jobs out there, even if you don't meet the requirements. First of all, you have to apply for all the jobs out there, even if you don't meet the requirements, and I'm telling you why a little later. Now, because there is a job opening that sounds interesting, and it is well paid, people try to polish their resumes in order to look as good as possible. And they start writing different lies in order to get a job. They get a job, but they can do it. So everything is a mess for everybody. It isn't a good way and I'll say that you actually must be honest about your skills and qualifications. People usually lie and they don't realize that you are hired to do a job, not to be paid. They do try to make those previous positions they had to look like a huge advantage, although they were totally unimportant and irrelevant jobs. So. What I will say is, put those jobs at the end of the resume and don't say much about them. At the beginning, put the jobs that are relevant to teaching ESL skills and your language abilities. Now, you might say, hey, I don't have any teaching skills. What should I do? Well, go out there and get them. Look for an English speaking club where you can get some teaching skills and learn to interact with people who want to learn English. Or look for uh, volunteer teaching positions, where you can get hired and get some experience. Maybe some non-profit organizations look to improve their employees' English-speaking skills. Even a few months of experience counts a lot in your resume. Now, with three to six months teaching experience, you can apply for an English teaching job, even if that position requires at least one year teaching experience. Now we get back at what I said first time, to apply for a job even if I don't meet the requirements. Yes, that's because the school that wants to hire teachers writes in the job writes in the job ad advertisement what the ideal candidate should be. Of course, the school receives a bunch of CVs. They will sort them out, and finally, they will choose the best candidates for the job. But so many times, there is no candidate that meet the requirements and the school needs a teacher urgently. So they simply choose the best candidate of the bunch. Sometimes the person who selects the resumes sees a set of skills that you wrote in your CV and find it valuable for them at that time. For example, you have no experience in teaching English for adults, but you have three months experience teaching English for a kindergarten and you are able to play a musical instrument, maybe. So this, this guy who needs, or this school that needs ESL teacher for a class of adults, might hire you for teaching children on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Usually English centers have a lot of classes Saturday and Sunday mornings that requires this kind of skills or they might use your skills for something else within the school. So, <clears throat> this is what I will say. Go out there and get some teaching ESL experience. <clears throat> Be honest when you write your resume and apply for all English teaching jobs, even if you don't meet the requirements. That's it for today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Talk to you next time.